Okay, this is a song that I wrote called The Blues Don't Lie. And this is a traditional chord progression, uh, but it's, it's slightly different than what we've been doing. C, and then I add my pinky for a measure of C7, and then a F7, F7, to C7, up to A7, to D7, to G7, to the turnaround, C7, F7, C7, to G7. So here we're using, that's a bar chord, a C7, and then with the pinky added, that just doubles up on a dominant 7 or on a flatted 7. And then to a bar chord, our F7. And then uh, our C7 to our A7, which is a C form, dominant 7th chord. Then straight across to our D7. And our G7, which also is a C form, dominant seventh chord. Then the turnaround, C7, F7, C7, G7. So over time, we've got our bar chord. Then we add that. Our bar chord. Twice. And then, let's work on this little section here. C7, slide that ring finger up two frets and make a uh, what looks like a chord form that's a C7 type chord form. But this is its root. It's an A7. So from that to here, just practice going back and forth. Slide that up two frets and then straight across, keeping your third finger planted. And then slide that third finger down. So let's do those four chords again. The bar chord, C7. C form, seventh chord, that's an A7. Straight across to a bar chord, that's a D7. Slide that third finger down. C form, or that's a G7. And then to your turn around.
God, they don't lie. So, there's a few ways to play this. Uh, here I'm just playing the dominant seven. two notes of a chord, of each chord. So uh, you might want to check that out, rewind the video, and um, look at that section there, if that's something you're unfamiliar with. And then playing different voicings. It's just a C7. Here's an F7, but a C7th form. up a pretty simple song, but uh, this chord progression can be a little tricky to get comfortable with because I would encourage you to just sit and do that until you get it into your system. Okay, uh, the song's in the key of C. Expanded. 